Hey everybody, Rock and Rory again, right on Screen Studios. Today we're going to code up a couple of screens. I got like 10 of them I'm going to do and I'll uh, show you how I do it, okay? Okay, we got our coating bar here. And we're going to fill it up with emulsion. Lightly stir your emulsion because you don't want to get too many air bubbles into it. So just give it a, a light stir. Make sure you get everything up off of the bottom, okay? You don't want to get too many air bubbles in it because it gets into your screen coater and it can cause fish eyes and things like that on your screen when you're when you're coating your screen. Okay, let's get the safety lights on. Okay, down the yellow light. Okay, get around the bottom and the sides of the can. Do it lightly. Alright, here we go. I put this on an angle because it's easier to pour. Okay, you don't want to fill it up too much because you don't want it overflowing when you're flip when you're coating your screen. Okay. Alright, let it drip. Okay. Cover that up, keep the light out of it. Paper towel here. All right. Want oh, a little piece of something in there? You want that out? Don't want anything in there? All right. What you do is you do the print side first. Okay. It's kind of important because you're pushing the emulsion through the screen, and then you want to push it back to build up your stencil side. Okay. Um, you know what I mean? All right. So what you want to do is get this nice and even and you want to hear a certain zip when you're putting it on. Okay, lean it forward. Nice even pressure, nice steady, slow, and then saw it off at the top. Okay, I get a little spatula here. And I scrape up the excess on the edges. That'll save it for if you get too much of a heavy deposit, you won't get those drips dripping on all your other screens, and you have a heavy deposit. So you make it nice and even. Flip the screen this way towards you. Don't spin it, flip it. Okay, like this. So what it does is it's going to catch all the threads in the mesh. So you're coating it one way and then you're coating it the other way. So you get a nice even distribution of emulsion on your screen. Okay? Tip it forward. Nice even pressure. You want to hear that zip? Just like that. Saw it off. Take your spatula. Run it around your edges. So you don't got a heavy deposit, and there you go, one coated screen. I'll show you how I stack them at the end of the video. Okay, we've got 10 of these to do, let's get cracking. Okay. Nice even pressure, saw it off at the top, get your spatula. all the excess off the edges. You don't want any dust on your screens because it's gonna leave little mar little dust bunnies all over the place. Flip the screen towards you and we'll do it again. Clean up your edges. Okay, I get these little blocks of wood and I separate my screens that way and I just keep stacking them higher and higher. 
I'll show you at the end. Oh, no, the screen coated. Next screen. It's very important that you wash your screens properly to get a good coat of emulsion. You don't want your emulsion falling off when you're doing print, your stencil falling apart. All right, first side, flip it towards you like this. Coat it again, zip. Nice, even pressure all the way up. Saw it off at the top. yourself. So these small screens are pretty simple to do. All right, want a nice even. Up we go. Saw it off. Clean up your edges. You see how much you get off your edges? See that? You don't want that dripping down onto your other screens and getting heavy deposits and these little drips everywhere on the screen. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with the rest of them, but I'll show you how I stacked them. This is how I stacked them, with the wooden spacers between. And then when I'm done finished, I put a fan on them. Not, not a, a really heavy fan, just something light to get the air moving. And then I let them sit for a few hours. Okay. So here's the rest of my room. My exposure unit. Some more screens I'll be doing. A light table. My coating desk. And then I keep some screens in here. Ready to go. These screens, once they're coated, will probably last about maybe 
I've, I've done it for up to two months, maybe three months. You can leave them stored. Keep them in complete darkness. I keep them in the closet here, right? And they will last a long time. Anyway, I'm going to finish up the last few screens I got, get the fan on them, and um, that's how I scroll, uh, code screens. Rock and Rory, right on Screen Studios. If you like my videos, press like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you soon with more videos on screen printing. Have a great day. Bye for now.